Welcome to the worldwide family of Braun Lift Owners. We created this program to help you get the most out of your Braun Millennium Wheelchair Lift. Over the next few minutes, we'll highlight the operation of the lift and offer tips on basic maintenance. However, in addition to watching this video, we recommend that you read your lift operator's manual and that you also pay close attention to the information and safety decals on the lift itself. Before attempting to use your lift, we also strongly suggest that you examine the unit carefully and notify the carrier immediately if you notice any damage that might have occurred in transit. If you notice damage, don't use your lift until any problems have been resolved or you've received confirmation from Braun that the lift can be safely used. It's also important that you fill out the attached product warranty card and mail it to the Braun Corporation in order to activate your warranty. A copy of that warranty can be found on the back of your operator's manual. You'll also want to make note that there are two Braun serial and series number identification tags on your lift. One ID tag is located on the opposite pump side vertical arm, and the second is located on the opposite pump side tower. Both tags give the product identification information that you'll be recording on your warranty card. You'll also use these numbers if you need to file a claim or order parts in the future. So, we recommend that you record this information in your operator's manual for easy access. Once your inspection and paperwork are complete, you're ready to learn about the proper operation of your Braun Millennium Lift. In this video, you'll receive an overview of the Millennium Lift, its safety features, and basic precautions that will help to safeguard both you and your passengers. And of course, we'll show you how to properly load and unload passengers, operate the lift using the manual backup systems, and perform basic preventive maintenance. Your Braun Millennium Lift is ADA compliant and fully satisfies the requirements of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA. And the Millennium makes it easy for a trained attendant to load and unload passengers and mobility equipment by providing fully automatic operation of the lift and easy to use manual features that can be used even in the unlikely event of a vehicle electrical system failure. Before attempting to operate your lift, it's important to know that Braun has several built-in safety features working for you. The Millennium Lift is designed to help prevent conditions that could result in accidents or injury to passengers or operators. Lift tight latches, for example, prevent the platform from drifting at the stowed position due to bleed off of pressure common to hydraulic systems. The automatic inner barrier automatically deploys to its horizontal position to serve as a bridge between the platform and the vehicle floor. And once fully deployed, rests on a threshold warning plate, which senses weight and will activate both a visible and audible alert if the inner barrier is occupied when an operator attempts to activate the lift. The threshold warning will also sound if a passenger enters the threshold area while the platform is in motion. Movement of the platform will be prevented by the interlock system if the inner barrier is occupied or doesn't transition to its fully upright position. Similarly, when the platform is at ground level, the outer barrier forms a bridge between the ground and the platform, and upward movement of the lift will be prevented by the interlock system until the outer barrier is fully upright. Although the Braun Public Use Millennium Lift offers these safety features, it's important that operators read all warning and caution labels and adhere to their instructions each and every time the lift is used. It's also important to follow proper procedures to help enhance overall safety. For example, be sure the vehicle parking brake is engaged before attempting to load or unload a passenger. Be sure the vehicle doors are fully opened and secured before activating the lift. Avoid use of the lift in areas where there is vehicular traffic. Be certain to load and unload passengers on level surfaces only. 
provide adequate clearance outside the vehicle to allow full deployment of the lift. Keep bystanders and yourself clear of the area in which the lift is being operated. Be sure passengers are fully secured and wheelchair brakes engaged before moving the lift. Ensure that passengers are contained within the yellow guides of the lift occupant area and are clear of moving parts. And make sure the lift has no signs of damage or abnormal operation. All of the key functions of your Millennium Lift are easily and conveniently controlled using the on-off control switch mounted on the outboard face of the pump module and the up-down and fold-unfold rocker switches on the Millennium handheld pendant control. To operate the lift, check to be sure the on-off switch is in the on position. Then simply use the handheld pendant to choose the appropriate functions. To unload a passenger from the vehicle, begin by securing the vehicle door to avoid interference during lift operation. Confirm that the power on-off switch shows a green power indicator to signal that you're ready to activate the lift. Assuming that you have a green light, move away from the door to clear the area for the platform to fully unfold. Then press and hold the unfold button on your pendant control and the lift will move out of its storage position. Notice that as the unfold button is pressed and the platform is fully extended, the lift's mechanical inner barrier automatically rotates to the horizontal position to form a smooth transition between the vehicle floor and platform. Once the platform is fully extended and motion stops, release the unfold switch. In the event the platform does not unfold from the stowed position, Simply press the fold switch to fully fold the platform, which will in turn release the lift tight latches. Then press the unfold switch and the lift should unfold with no further hesitation. Once the platform is fully deployed, be sure the inner barrier rests solidly on the vehicle floor. And check to be sure that the outer barrier is fully raised and locked. Also be sure that your passenger's safety restraints are securely fastened. Then guide your passenger onto the platform, being sure to keep the wheelchair between the yellow boundaries. Once fully boarded, engage the wheelchair brakes. Turn power off to powered wheelchairs and ask the passenger to hold the handrails if possible. Note that the Millennium Lift can accommodate passengers who prefer to face inward. However, Braun recommends the outward position because of the enhanced sense of security it provides for passengers. The Millennium can also accommodate passengers who use walkers or canes or cannot navigate steps into the vehicle. In all cases, however, it is critical that passengers, whether sitting or standing, are positioned at the center of the platform within the yellow boundaries to help ensure that they have cleared the vehicle bridge and are in the proper position for side-to-side -side load balance and smooth movement of the platform. Once the passenger is in position, press and hold the down button on your handheld control until the entire platform reaches ground level and the outer barrier unfolds completely. When all movement has stopped, unlock wheelchair brakes, switch on wheelchair power if necessary, and unload the passenger from the platform. To load a passenger, start with the platform at ground level and the outer barrier fully extended. Move the passenger onto the lift platform and into position within the yellow boundaries. Again, lock the wheelchair brakes, turn off wheelchair power on powered chairs, and have the passenger hold the lift's handrails if possible for additional support. While being sure to stand clear of the lift, press and hold the up switch on the pendant control. This will allow the outer barrier to move to the upright and locked position and the platform to rise to vehicle floor level. The lift will stop at floor level automatically and the inner barrier will move to the horizontal or bridging position. Once the lift has stopped completely, re-engage power to power chairs, 
disengage wheelchair brakes, and move the passenger into the vehicle compartment. To return the platform to its storage position, be sure both the lift and storage areas are clear. Then simply press and hold the Fold button on your handheld pendant until the platform is fully stowed and all motion stops. Check to make sure your vehicle doors are fully closed and secured. If returning the platform to its storage position from ground level, check to be sure the platform area and vehicle storage area are clear. Then, simply press and hold the Up button until the platform reaches vehicle floor height and all movement stops. Then, press and hold the Fold button again until all motion stops. Then again, close and secure your vehicle doors. In the unlikely event that your vehicle experiences power or equipment failure, your Braun Millennium Lift can be safely and easily operated using the manual backup system. Instructions and illustrations for all steps that differ from standard lift operation are included in your operator's manual. Before attempting manual operation, it's important to familiarize yourself with the location and operation of the backup system components. Specifically, the pump handle, which is stored in clips located on the pump module. The manual backup pump located on the opposite platform tower. And the release valve located just below the pump port. To remove a passenger from your vehicle using the manual backup system, Open and secure your vehicle doors to prevent interference during lift operation. Then, insert the handle in the pump and stroke until the platform first folds fully and all movement stops. This is necessary to ensure that the lift tight latches will release when you attempt to unfold the platform. Then, open the hand pump valve by turning it counterclockwise, which will allow the platform to slowly unfold. Close the hand pump valve clockwise when the platform reaches floor level. Check to be sure that the inner barrier is in its fully horizontal position and that the outer barrier is in its fully vertical position and the outer barrier latch is engaged. Then, load your passenger onto the platform as you would during normal automatic operation. Open the release valve again by turning it counterclockwise one half turn only to allow the platform to slowly move to ground level and the outer barrier to unfold fully. Then move your passenger off of the platform and away from the vehicle. To manually raise the platform and return it to its storage position, close the release valve by placing the slotted end of the pump handle onto the backup pump release valve and turning clockwise. Then insert the handle onto the backup pump and stroke until the platform reaches floor level. With no passenger on the platform, you can continue to stroke until the platform folds fully. Be sure that the release valve remains closed and ready for automatic operation once power is restored. And be sure to return the pump handle to its storage clips. Every Braun lift is designed and built for durable and dependable service. You can maximize the life and operation of your lift by performing routine inspections and simple maintenance tasks. By lubricating moving parts, cleaning debris from mechanisms, and checking for wear and tear, you protect your investment while enhancing the safety of lift passengers and operators. Some parts require lubricating, maintenance, or inspection more often than others. Your operator's manual outlines a full schedule of maintenance procedures to be conducted at regular intervals, every 750 cycles as a general rule. Actual maintenance requirements will vary, depending on the amount of use and exposure to conditions that affect equipment wear and tear. 
The cycle counter, located on the top of the pump module, can serve as a visual reminder that routine maintenance may be in order. Preventive maintenance and longevity of your lift revolve around two key factors, lubrication and inspection. When it comes to applying lubricant to specific lift components, your manual includes a diagram showing parts that need regular lubrication. Most parts require a light penetrating oil, which is available at most auto parts stores, hardware stores, and home centers. Your manual also suggests the use of special lubricants for specific components and offers item numbers for easy ordering from Braun if not locally available. Before applying lubricant to any part, start by cleaning dirt and debris from the area. Dirt and grit are extremely abrasive and can seriously affect smooth movement and shorten the life of components. Once clean, apply the specified lubricant and operate the mechanism a few times to ensure that the oil works its way into areas where friction could occur. Another important maintenance task is to inspect parts for wear and replace any worn or damaged parts as needed. The maintenance schedule in your operator's manual indicates specific parts to check during your regular maintenance routine. If you see signs of abnormal lift damage or wear, however, before replacement is suggested, stop using the lift immediately. Contact the Braun Corporation National Product Support Division for guidance or help in finding an authorized service facility near you. Following the correct operating procedures and performing regular maintenance will help you get years of service and satisfaction from your Braun Public Use Millennium Lift. If you have questions about your lift safety features, operation, or preventive maintenance procedures, or if you'd like more information about your lift or other Braun products, contact your Braun representative at 1-800-THE-LIFT. And thank you for choosing Braun.